Hey Pisces, how are you? Happy Monday. Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a weekly checkup to see what energies are going to be available for the Pisces Collective this week ahead. Happy Valentine's. Today's Valentine's. So that's exciting. Let's see. Let's see. Spirit, please bring in the most relevant messages. For all the beautiful, beautiful Pisces subscribers watching. This goes for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, well, this goes very well with the date. <laughs> um, we have the Knight of Cups. So this is an offer of love. You may be receiving an offer of love today, my beautiful fishies. Um, and that could be, you know, from friendship to invitations, to people asking you out on dates, possible romance. But bottom line, people who love you and appreciate you are definitely going to be reaching out to you today. So that's always lovely. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy as well. But they're going to be lovey-dovey vibes all over. <laughs> all over. Regardless of your situation, regardless of what it is you're looking for, the lovey-dovey vibes are here. As a challenge, we've got the Empress energy. So some of you guys could be feeling like you would like to be a little bit more comfortable, maybe within your skin, maybe within your finances or your home. Maybe there's certain aspects of your life that are not as easy maybe as you would like them to be at this time. And that's all right. And, you know, for some of you, you may be wanting to be on the receiving end of perhaps romantic offers. But you may realize that you are feeling called to be more on the um, kind of like the more proactive side of it. You may feel like in order for something to, you know, clearly come together, you want to reach out to a potential partner or something along those lines. Some of you guys as well could be having um, maybe challenges with fertility, could be, but that doesn't apply for all of you, just very few of you. In the recent past, showing up is the High Priestess, so you've been very intuitive Pisces as you tend to be, <laughs> nothing new there. Um, you may feel like recently your connection to spirit has evolved has changed. Maybe you feel like you can hear your intuition or feel your intuition in ways that are way more clear. Maybe you're feeling more supported in general. Maybe you are even understanding a lot of secrets or mysteries that were hidden in your subconscious mind. And as they come to the surface, you're learning about yourself and why maybe you kept yourself small in certain situations or why in the past certain things didn't come through. Maybe you are right now realizing like, wow, that actually had a lot to do with me. You know, maybe I was the one um, who was, you know, manifesting this issues or attracting a certain kind of people or person that I, you know, needed to learn something from pretty much. In the current energy, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. So, you know, as far as money and finances, I feel like you are definitely seeing progress in your life right now. But maybe you feel like the results are limited or they're pouring in very slowly. And maybe you would like to, you know, see that be a little different. Maybe you will enjoy um, having a little bit more kind of evidence. <laughs> of your success or the progress in the maybe projects that you've been doing and things of that sort. But you're being patient. It seems like you it seems like you are trying to, you know, honor the seeds that you have planted and cherish them, love them, appreciate them, even if you want more, you know, still appreciating what is. In the near future, we've got the king of Wand. So that is Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Beautiful. You're going to be feeling 
first of all, very energetic. That's the first thing that jumped out of the card. <laughs> um, very, very energetic. Lots of vital energy, desire to do things, inspiration, motivation, drive. You're also most likely going to be pursuing things that make you more passionate. And yeah, I know that sounds kind of redundant with what I just said, but I actually mean it in a different way. Like, if your life has been all focused on work, you're going to start to implement other areas that inspire you in a different way. And you're going to be able to balance them out very well. You're going to be able to really give yourself what you need in a way that will not burn you out, in a way that will not affect you, in a way that will not, um, you know, sacrifice your progress. It won't distract you, but you are um, ready to give to yourself in an area that makes you feel just plain happy, okay? Not necessarily productive, not necessarily efficient, but happy. Your energy right now is showing up as the Two of Swords. So you may be thinking, should I do this? Should I do that? There may be two options here. Maybe you don't know exactly how you feel about something. Maybe one minute you feel really excited and then the next minute you feel very anxious <laughs> and you go back and forth from being a little bit intimidated or afraid to being super excited about it. And that's okay. You know, both things can be true. They can coexist. We're getting closer to the full moon in Leo as well. In your environment, there seems to be a lot of joy. There seems to be a lot of celebration, you know. I feel like you're highly appreciated by those around you. Those around you want to be, want to see you happy. Not because you're not, not because they feel like there's something wrong with you right now or anything. Just because your smile brightens their day, you know. They love you. There's people in your life that really, really love you and just want you to be able to enjoy Kind of like the fruits of your labor. They know that you have worked very hard in your life in general, you know, in yourself, personal development, in your um, maybe relationships, in your work, in your health. And they just want to see you happy. So there's a lot of celebratory energy around here. With the hopes and fears, you've got the devil card. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn person at this time. You may have hopes maybe to, you know, have this person do something or say something or act somehow. And you may at the same time have a little bit of fear. I feel like for some of you, this could be kind of like a toxic bond or connection. Maybe you want to hear from them. Maybe you want them to ask you out for Valentine's. Or maybe you want to, you know, be in a position in which you can reject them. That's what I'm getting um, in order to feel empowered. But, you know, this connection with this person and these hopes and fears that you may have with them um, do doesn't seem to be coming from the best place. Because this is, you know, a card about toxicity. Then we got the Seven of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. So, yeah, there is definitely that back and forth, you know, and the Ace of Wands. Definitely this back and forth. Should I? Shouldn't I? Do I want this? Do I not? Which one is the best option? You may receive an offer of love that is healthy and good and appropriate and most likely very successful going on, you know, in the future. Um, like if it happens, it's going to be very successful. But you may also receive perhaps... A gesture of love or appreciation or sexual attraction or something from someone that you know is not it. <laughs> you know, someone who you perceive as toxic, you understand as toxic. And, you know, within every connection, toxic or not, there's always, you know, beautiful things and things we resonate with and things we are attracted to. So you're definitely going to be kind of bouncing back and forth um, with your interests 
from one person to another or from one, you know, desire to another. But they're telling you here, this is divinely guided. So you can relax, you can chill, you can allow yourself to celebrate. There is a very beautiful, passionate uh, new beginning here. And it is meant to be. So let it be. All right, Pisces. You're going to be having great luck as well. You're going to be having kind of like this uh, Midas touch. I think that's, that's um, what it's called, right? Everything that you touch turns to gold, that kind of thing. Especially if there's passion and inspiration, okay? So if there is something that you are embarking on and you're kind of like, oh, you know, I guess I kind of, kind of have to do it, you know, then that is very likely going to be reflected on the results that you have. Like even more so than, you know, normally would. But if you are like, oh my god, yes, like this is, yes, I want this, I want to do this, this is exciting, I can't wait, then that is definitely going to be also the energy that goes into that and influences the energy that comes out of that, right? Seven of Swords. Interesting. All right. So some of you could be hiding certain information from someone else. Some of you, if you are perhaps in a connection and you're hoping for this other person to contact you, you know, that may be uh, something that you're keeping uh, secret or hidden, right? This could also be you perhaps feeling like hiding a relationship or a love or you um, trying to hide something or get away with something if that's not the case maybe you right now are um, truly evaluating what it means for you to be in a non honest relationship or a non transparent relationship and you're wanting to move out of that You know, some of you may feel like the amount of love that you have for a potential partner is a little bit almost smaller than the love that they have for you. And that may make you feel that you need to perhaps push them a little bit away or love them more or, you know, it may make you feel a little bit disoriented. That goes for some of you. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Someone who's having a hard time uh, speaking their feelings, being true to what they feel. They're having a hard time letting you sort of know about this. In the recent past, you may have connected with someone you perceive as a soulmate, okay? Someone who feels good, who feels pure. Maybe this is someone you've known for a really long time um, in this lifetime or even before. This could be someone that you know has real and good feelings in general, not only about you, but like in life, you know, this is a person that doesn't have, you know, evil <laughs> in them. Yes, we all make mistakes. Yes, we can all, you know, um, get confused from time to time, but you feel like this is generally a very good person. You've also perhaps been a little bit nostalgic recently. Could even be about like exes and people from the past. Maybe you've gone into this um, path of like missing someone very specific or the way things were with someone very specific as well. In the present, you've got the hangman. So yeah, as you wait for those results, you are sort of hanging in there, you know? Um, trying to make the most out of what is, but from a very passive standpoint, you know, just kind of being there and being open and, you know, letting things be, keeping a good perspective and allowing things to fall, you know, where they need to without that much effort from you, from you or, you know, from your part. We got the five of cups in the near future. Some of you guys, you know, if you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, 
Um, this person could be disappointed or you can be disappointed about this person in the near future. There could be a sense of magnifying the things that are not perfect or not good. Maybe if, you know, you've been through um, difficulties with them, if there has been any kind of, you know, secrets and shady behavior, you may find out about it or accept it or admit it. It's going to come to the light, pretty much, um, whatever context we're talking about. And, you know, there's still a lot of hope moving forward. Like, if you want something to work, focusing on the good is not denial. Focusing on the good is actually um, a little bit more objective. Because if you focus on the spilled cups here, um, the spilled milk, you know, what already happened, what you can't really take back, if you focus on that, then you're going to forget all the good things that are there. So it is really a lot about perspective for some of you. Right now you are in a very, very powerful position about your emotions. And you know what? I love that, Pisces. With the queen, sorry, king of um, cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, what I'm getting is that you're very well aware of how you feel how you think you should feel, what gives you resistance. You're very well aware that you may be jumping from one uh, perspective to another, but you're not fighting it. It seems like you're really acknowledging that all of it can happen simultaneously. You may feel all sorts of ways and that is okay. It doesn't have to define anything necessarily. You're honoring your emotions and your process. And look at that. There's someone around you who wants real pure love with you. And with this uh, Six of Cups, I would say this is a person who wants to love you right. Who wants to give you the world, you know. Someone who wants to be there for you, you know, emotionally, physically, sexually, you know, as friends, as partner in crime. You know, like, they, they want to be there for you. They love you very, very much. And I feel like you feel also very connected to this person, but you're still maybe adapting to the idea of maybe being with them. Or maybe you're letting go of something at the time as this um, good possibility, this good relationship is also kind of like entering the picture as something else is moving out of the picture. With hopes and fears, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you want probably all of you, want a lot of abundance, financial abundance, right? I mean, who doesn't enjoy the freedom that money can bring? But in this case, what I'm getting is that some of you have hopes with this person to, you know, build a future. At the same time, it may be very intimidating. This could be someone who's very sure about you. And maybe you're not that sure just yet, you know? There could be someone here... Um, wow, <laughs> okay, Pisces, there may be a lot of people around you, you're kind of like sleeping on them in the sense that you don't realize that they have feelings for you. This could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But I do get a sense that there are a lot of people around sort of like oh you know i wish pisces was my valentine or i kind of wish you know um pisces would take my offer or whatever and what i'm getting is that this good person here is not gonna let you go not from like a freaky um point of view but like they're gonna cherish you cherish you and love you the right way and you know, you may need to take things low, and that's perfectly fine. I think that this person is, you know, all open to give you everything that you need, Pisces. So it feels very good. You know, they're willing to fight for you too. <laughs> they're willing to go all in and understand that even if you are not all in, um, that you can be in the future. Like, they, they're willing to give you the time and space to sort of, like, grow into it. 
But I do feel like you're very attracted to this person. I feel like the connection is very, very pure, very effortless. So I do feel like it's going to be, you know, happening um, if that's what you want. Now with the Four of Swords, the Hangman and the Pentacles, <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles, it's okay to be kind of like suspended in the air. It's okay for you not to have all the answers. It's okay for you to rest. It's okay for you to pause, you know. Don't feel pressure that things need to move forward quick because that is not the case, okay? All right, my love, so that is what I have for you for this week. Although this feels like a Valentine's reading, I gotta say, you know, very romantic, very, yeah, very romantic. I would even say that this is more of a love reading than a weekly, <laughs> but who knows what shows up, right? Take what resonates with you, leave the rest, and remember you guys that I'm offering my healing one-on-one -on -one program right now. I want to thank all of you who have sent your applications. I have filmed a little short response on video for each one of you. It should be arriving on your email um, today if it hasn't already. Maybe you have already seen it. Dorsal was working through the weekend, so maybe. Um, so yeah, you can check that out for those of you who already sent the application. If you haven't just yet, you can do so. Uh, there's a few questions that I just want to know um, about you. A little bit of information to see if I'm the best uh, person for the job. <laughs> and if this program is the best um, option for you and what you're going through right now. The link is going to be below. You can film a little video if you like. That would be great. But if that you know makes you feel a little uncomfortable, you can always um, write down and text you know the answers to those questions. I would love to hear all about it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's also a video explaining everything. It's going to be the first link in the description box below. It's a one-on-one -on -one program, four to six months, in which we work together through video calls and other, um, a lot of other, you know, cool things to help you out with whatever it is you're wanting to manifest and getting you out of, you know, if you're feeling like you're in a rut, if you feel like you haven't really recovered from certain punches in the face that life could have, you know, given you. <laughs> if you feel like you're having a hard time getting out of that state, maybe there's been, you know, years in which you just don't feel like yourself anymore and you really want to get out of that, but you haven't been able to, that's kind of like the whole point of the program. So let me know if this is something that interests you. I'm going to leave all the info in the description box below and I would love to help you guys out with anything. Website, tons of tools, discounts, check it out, <laughs> subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, my loves. Happy Valentine's.